In this video we will present 10 mental health symptoms you should not ignore. Number 1. You're having feelings of sadness or depression that last longer than 2 weeks. It's true all humans experience grief from time to time. However, with time, most normal feelings of sadness should get better. According to the American Psychiatric Association abnormally intense sadness lasting two weeks could be a sign of depression. The National Institute of Mental Health stated, not being able to snap out of it or sadness being heavier than normal should be taken seriously. Number 2. You're having extreme mood swings and don't know why. You notice that your mood seems to change very rapidly or at random. Studies have been done on how frequently an average individual's mood shifts on any given day. According to the National Center of Biotechnology Information and CVI, this study showed that people seem to experience positive emotions such as joy or love more often than negative ones. But it's quite normal for persons' emotions to change daily. However the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill NAMI, warns, especially dramatic mood swings that caused huge changes in your behavior and energy, can be a sign of bipolar disorder. Agencies such as the American Academy of Pediatrics say the more red flag signs are, experiencing sadness, anger, or feelings of excessive euphoria for most of the day, especially if it has nothing to do with what's going on in your life. Number 3. Worrying and anxiety have gotten out of control. Have you ever found yourself worrying but can't shut it off? According to the National Institute for Mental Health, it may be a sign of an anxiety disorder. Other signs of anxiety disorder include, having problem relaxing, insomnia, racing thoughts, unexplained aches and pains, or being easily irritated. The Anxiety and Depression Association of America suggests that if you ever feel this way on most days for a minimum of six months, you should consider taking with a mental health professional about your symptoms. Number 4. You started withdrawing from others or isolating yourself. Taking time away from others can be positive for both your mental and physical health. But do you constantly make excuse to avoid socializing? Mental health professionals, such as Raymond Starr Jr. and Howard Dubois, say avoiding people or events you use to enjoy can be a sign of mental illness such as depression, anxiety, or a psychotic disorder. Number 5. You may have noticed you're having delusions or hallucinations. Kumari and others describe the two aspects of psychosis, hallucinations and delusions, as a sense of perception or belief that creates much urgency in the person who sees it. Despite evidence the perception or belief isn't real. The Nation Alliance on Mental Illness reports up to 100,000 people in the U.S. will experience psychosis every year. NAMI further stated 3 out of every 100 people will have a psychotic episode as a symptom of a physical or mental illness, such as schizophrenia or schizoaffiliative disorder in their lifetimes. Number 6. You're having more and more difficulty dealing with normal life situations. Have you ever gone through a time in your life when nothing seemed to go right and you just couldn't deal? The Australian Department of Health stated a rough patch that you just can't get past, one that hurts your ability to function for more than two weeks to two months, may be a sign of depression or anxiety. A major sign that what you're experiencing is more than just a rough patch, is when you have a hard time functioning in normal situations for several weeks according to Mental Health America. Number 7. You're sleeping too much or too little. The Harvard University School of Medicine believes that 10 to 18 percent of the general population has problems sleeping. However, Harvard's med school stated, either sleeping too much or too little, is two or three times more common in people who suffer from a mental illness. The Harvard Med School stated about 50% of people who live with ADHD, depression, anxiety, or bipolar disorder, suffer from insomnia or hypersomnia, which means sleeping too much. Number 8. You've started abusing drugs or alcohol. According to mentalhealth.gov, 1 in 4 or 25% of the people who live with the symptoms of a mental illness use alcohol or drugs to self-medicate things like anger, anxiety and mania. Experts believe individuals who suffer from depression, anxiety disorders, personality disorders, or schizophrenia, are more likely to use drugs and alcohol as a coping mechanism than people diagnosed with other mental illnesses. Number 9. You're having extreme anger outbursts. Do you ever feel anger that's almost impossible to control or weigh too much with the situation? If so your anger may be warning you about your stress level, unresolved grief, or your anxiety. Healthline reported extreme anger outbursts can also be a sign of unresolved trauma, bipolar disorder, alcohol abuse, obsessive compulsive disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, or depression. If you wonder if your anger is healthy, experts recommend first recognizing your physical and emotional signs of anger. And number 10. You've started thinking of self-harm or suicide. 
The Mental Health Foundation reported up to 10% of people under the age of 30 have though about self-harm or suicide. There are many reasons people consider self-harm or suicide, such as abuse or neglect at home, a major loss, trauma, or catastrophe that you can't control or avoid. Brad Vick, 2018, reported approximately 90% of people who have completed suicide also suffered from a severe mental illness such as bipolar disorder or depression. If you find yourself thinking about self-harm or suicide, please reach out to a mental health professional and get the help that you need and deserve. If you can relate to any of these symptoms on this list, you're definitely not alone, nor are you a bad person for feeling this way. We want you to take care of yourself, which means reaching out to a mental health professional, if you've been experiencing any of the symptoms on this list.